Hi there, this is the first in a new series of videos where I'm going to go through the management for both iOS and macOS devices using Microsoft Intune. There's a lot to get through, we need to look at the prerequisites, how we deploy applications, how we send configuration down to those devices and most importantly how we enroll them with Microsoft Intune. So with that I'll also look at the Apple Business Manager side of the equation so we can see how we set that up and connect it to Microsoft Intune. In this first video I'm going to go through how we enroll a macOS device into Microsoft Intune from a personal or BYOD or bring your own device scenario. So let's get started and see how we do that. So first up what we want to do is go over to the uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center you know, this is Microsoft Intune. And there's a few things I want to highlight before we kind of get into the configuration here. And that is that if we go into devices, um, and then we can see we can see the options here. So you've got Android, but basically there is this distinction between iOS and iPad OS and the Mac OS. Now, if we go into Mac OS, you'll see you'll get the list of devices, but also the enrollment options here. Now, this is the same set of kind of options pretty much what you're going to see from the ipad uh, and ios options and you've got the the push certificate uh, configurator tokens etc and the enrollment types now we'll get onto the enrollment types in a little bit but before we can really get going there's a couple of things we need to set up and that is we need to have an apple push certificate set up so as you can see on this screen, I've already got my push certificate already configured. Um, I've got my manager, Apple ID there. I've downloaded um, a CSR and I've set up this to, to connect to the Apple Business Manager. This is all we need, but it's also a process you need to go through if you're looking to use the automate, automated device enrollment for say corporate devices. We don't need that here because that's we we all we're doing is deploying a, a BYOD scenario. So once you have that set up, and I will go through that in a separate video, by the way, um, we're going to go over to the uh, device uh, restrictions. Now, if you go into devices, you'll see that there is an option for device limit restrictions and device platform restrictions. So. If I go into the limit restrictions, I already have a default uh, setting in here, uh, which is given when you first have the, the environment set up. And what this is telling us is the number of devices an end user can effectively enroll. Okay, so we've got our device limit of five. Now that's fine. Um, you can restrict that if you want. I can go into it, look at the properties and I can edit that and I can go down to say three or up to 15. Okay, so just be aware of that. Now I'm gonna cancel that for the moment. Um, the second thing I wanna look at is the device platform restrictions. So if I look at that, again, I've got a default um, and I can open that. By the way, you've got the, the different uh, filters here. You've got the Windows, Mac OS and iOS. Um, and I'm going to open the default, which is going to give us hopefully all of, all of the listings. Now, if I edit the platform settings here, you'll see you've got the list of the different device types. And this is allowing us to block or allow the certain device types or platform types. Now, I do have Mac OS allow, and this is effectively for the corporate enrollment. But when we go to the personally owned, I've also got that set to allow. Um, which which is good because we're looking to do a personally owned um, enrollment of Mac OS device here. Now, if you were looking to do the corporate you uh, the corporate um, approach, then you need to go through the automated device enrollment and make sure that your devices are registered within Apple Business Manager. Now, when that's not important to us, but that's where you would make that setting if you needed to. So from here, what are we what do we need to do? There's a couple other things I want to highlight. If we go back into devices and we look at Mac OS and the Mac OS enrollment, you have this thing, as I mentioned before, enrollment types. 
So what, what I want to do is just quickly go into this and highlight a few differences for background information. There are effectively three types of enrollment with the Apple devices. You've got user enrollment, device enrollment, and automated device enrollment, which was DEP. And with user enrollment, that's targeting the bring your own device type scenario, where you have a separation of volumes within on the device and you can um, maintain security between both your personal and the corporate organization re resources and data. Okay, with this, what we have here is the ability to send a profile to iOS and um, iPad OS. If I go to create a profile, you're only gonna get that, that option right now. And if I quickly show you the options in here, it's gonna give you uh, both device enrollment, user enrollment, and determine based on user choice. Now we'll go into this and actually demonstrate this, how this works in a later video. But I just wanted to highlight that user enrollment is essentially a BYOD scenario and device enrollment um, or ADE um, as well is a, an organizational owned device type enrollment where there's additional management capabilities of the device. Now, um, one last thing I just want to quickly cover, and that is the ability, ability to assign licenses and make sure that we got the licenses to enroll the device. Now, if I um, go into my users, for my specific Mac here, I'm gonna be enrolling um, uh, a user called Nesta Wilk. So I can go into the users within Intune and I can look at the licenses. I can also, and, and automatically it will show me the licenses that have been assigned to that user. Now we do need an in, Intune type license in order to do enrollment of a device. We can either buy that or get that from uh, EMS or Enterprise Mobility and Security, or you will get that license if you've got a Microsoft 365 um, E5 or E3 license as well. So I just wanted to highlight that we do have the license assigned, so we should be able to enroll our, our Mac device here. All we need to do now is look at how we download the, uh, the, the method or the connection between Intune and the devices we go through enrollment. And the way we will do that is literally through the Microsoft company portal. So if we head over to the Microsoft documentation and website here, um, on this page, as you can see, saying enroll your macOS device using the company portal app. And we head down the page. There is a link here. And if you click this link, it's gonna download the company portal app. Um, there is one thing I just wanna highlight though, is ordinarily, if you're an iPad or iOS, you can go into the app store, uh, the Apple app store. I'm, I'm on a um, macOS here myself. And if I do a search for Intune company portal, It's not going to come up. Um, if you do a search for it on the web as well, it's going to go to the uh, the Apple Store. But it's as it says here, the app is available only on the App Store for iPhone and iPad. So if you just go to this site and then do uh, click enroll my my Mac, it should download the the company portal app here. Now I will add this link to the information on this video. But if you look, just look through this um, this website, you'll see the steps you need to take. So if you want to look at that first before you go ahead and enroll or, or install this application, then uh, it's a good point to go and do that. So if we look at the down my downloads here, this is on a Mac, remember, and I open it up and go ahead and start installing this. So it's going to give you a guided um, tour through this and the steps you need to take. So I'll hit continue. It's going to give me the licensing as usual, as you would see. So I'm going to go ahead and conti um, uh, continue that and I'm going to agree the terms. Okay, it will tell you how much space it needs to take. I'm going to do my default on my HD, so I'm going to install that. It might prompt you to um, put your, your device um, password in. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then it will continue and install the application. So um, it's just taking a bit of time here. And there you go, it's installed. So I'm gonna close that. Um, yeah, 
and move that to the bin. If I go to my launch pad and have a look at the applications, I should now see it. There you go, we've got the company portal app. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. And the first thing we're gonna to need to do is enroll this device. And to do that, we need to sign on with our company um, credentials. which is going to be Megan B. And then basically um, you'll be asked to add your, your password in. So go ahead and do that. And now it should log on to your Intune tenant. Um, the old, whole idea that it's going to be bringing down your company resources to give you access to that. And we can begin the, uh, the enrollment process for uh, personal registration so just to highlight here you have got um, just to give you some sort of comfort if you are uh, registering with your company if your company has set up some customization for their logo and you've got the company name that gives you a little bit of comfort that you are logging on to the right tenant there and I've already done that to my tenant so we'll begin the process and this is important this green because it's going to give you what your company what your organization can and can't see effectively so just just kind of for um, summary, you've got you know the browsing history, access to passwords, review your documents. So we'll hit the continue. It's going to be registering your Mac. Now I'm doing this for the first time on my Mac. I've, I've not tested this, so hopefully this is going to work. But it's going to ask me to download a profile. So I'll go ahead and download the profile, and this will basically um, look at putting all the policies onto your devices and it's going to ask you to add a management profile onto the actual device okay so I'll go ahead and double click that and it's asking me to do the installation okay so it's giving me some details here about the profile I'm going to install it so it's installing this profile locally on the device this is quite standard and it's also asking me to log on with the local uh, password so I'll do that just for security. And from this point, it's um, it's installed that profile. So I can go back to the uh, company portal and I can see the updates here. And it's telling me that the installation management profile is done and checking device settings. So it's saying we're all set. So I can hit done. And automatically you can see I've got information about the device that's registered. Okay, so this is my Andrew uh, Andrew's Mac Studio. This is the device that I'm on. I can see other devices. So other devices I'm registered, registered and in tune with. I'll have the availability up here. I've got a Windows machine. Um, it'll If you go down the page, it will give you information about that device. I can uh, review my user. So this is my user. And potentially I can change my my password or log out from that point and if you click on the dots there I can do a check status as well uh, so a check status will check in and check that I'm compliant at the moment with all the policies I can rename this uh, the way that the device is registered if I want to and I've also got the ability to remove so remove the policy from from the device okay there are other options here I've got apps so I can see which apps have been made available to me. There are none at the moment. We will do another video that shows this at some point. So keep a look out for that. And also I can look at the support, support information. So if there was your IT support uh, details, this is also set up within the customization that we uh, that I mentioned earlier with your logo and your company name. So we will go through that at some point as well. So that in a nutshell is basically your connector between your device and Microsoft Intune and it gives you the information about how you registered, whether you're compliant and your applications, etc. So the last thing I want to do here is just show you the registration of that device within uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So if I select device and then I go into Mac OS, you'll see this Andrews Mac Studio has appeared. Okay, and I've got some details here. 
predominantly showing that it's personal, uh, as you would expect, because it's a personal enrollment with BYOD. And I can look at the various details about this device. I can look at the hardware. I can look at the configuration, uh, manage adapt, etc. Now, there's nothing um, complex about this enrollment at this point. I don't have any specific configuration files or uh, I don't have any apps that's been deployed to this device uh, and we'll go into that into other videos. All we've done here is enrolled it into, into Intune. If I go back to the overview page, the critical bit to notice though is we've got a number of management options available to us. We can restart the device, we can synchronize the device. The device will do its own synchronization uh, up to every seven hours or so, but we can force a sync, for example. We can remote lock it. If we want to, we can delete it from Intune, which will mean that it no longer uh, can work in unison, it can no longer be managed. And we can also retire the app, um, retire the device. And what that will do, if I click on that, it will show you that basically it will remove the company data uh, on the device okay so that will no longer be managed by Microsoft Intune so that's one way of doing it you did see the remove button within the company portal app remember this is a personal device so the onus and prioritization is on the user so the user has effectively the control um, to uh, and the device is mainly personal rather than uh, being corporate or uh, corporate owned so that gives you those those options there so it shows you how we can manage that device from a BYOD scenario. That's it for this episode. In the next episode I'm going to go through setting up Apple Business Manager and linking it to my Intune tenant. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks very much.